What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I had the final review video on the Tamiya Mark IV Toyota Supra. And, um, <laughs> I am actually really happy how this actually turned out. So, let's go ahead and show you what I did to it, and then we'll have, go ahead and wrap this video up. So, this is obviously not box stock. This is a wide body kit I have done on this, which is 3D printed. Um, I got one of the files off of one of the guys on Instagram which I'll show you what is 3D printed. So, um, first things first, the side skirts are all 3D printed. The rear fender, the front diffuser, the rear diffuser, and the spoiler, and the wheels are all 3D printed and all out of market for the exterior that is. So, um, but that is pretty neat. I'm, I, I absolutely love how this thing turned out. Um, like I mentioned, the wheels, here's the wheels that you can see. And <laughs> the thing that actually looks really cool, I love Defenders, I love the way this body looks with this. Um, it absolutely looks incredible, I love it. So, oh yeah, the exhaust tip, the exhaust um, muffler, whatever you want to call it, is also 3D printed. So, but let's go ahead and show you what to do it. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> so, the body color, I did not, I couldn't choose what body color I want to do to it. I was thinking of dark gray or midnight purple. Then I let one guys choose on Instagram to poll, and then a lot of guys said midnight purple. So I did midnight purple, which is the whole body. The front diffuser, the what the the bottom portion of the uh, side skirts, and then the rear um, diffuser or front splitter rear diffuser is all carbon fiber. So is the um, spoiler and hood. It's all carbon fiber. It actually looks fantastic with the, with the midnight purple. Carbon fiber looks really good with, with midnight purple. I mean, it just looks super nice. So that's pretty much about it for that. Um, the exhaust tip is aluminum, or I'm sorry, gold. <laughs> chrome, the chrome exhaust tip. The whole exhaust is actually chrome and weathered a little bit with some or iron and stuff. Um, the wheels are actually semi-gloss black, and also the brakes in there are also 3D printed, has upgraded 3D printed brakes, um, which you kind of have to do because the brakes in this toy kit um, is not really that good, <laughs> so so definitely had to, definitely need upgraded brakes a little bit, but definitely had to because the wheels are definitely different. So, but that's pretty much about it for the outside. Um, the wing support is aluminum. It actually looks pretty cool, and then like I said, the wing is all carbon fiber, so the wing is, is massive, but it actually looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty digging it. At, at first, I wasn't really digging it because I don't like big, big wings like this. But on this car, it actually, it actually does suit it with the wide body, because you know wide body cars have crazy, crazy spoilers, and they just look really ridiculous. But for some reason, it goes well with them. So, and this one is no other. So that's pretty much what for the exterior. Oh yeah, and the, I forgot the tail lights. I did tent the tail lights, and then we have the rear, the rear windows. I did tent. So did tent the windows a little bit, and also the tail lights. And then in the headlight buzzles buckets are is um, gunmetal, gunmetal headlight buckets because that one more chrome. So, but that's pretty much what the exterior. Let's move on to the interior. The interior is also has some three D printed parts. It has a 3D printed, um, what you call it, like um, sound system, the whole sound system back there with the speakers and a strut, bra strut brace, which is pretty cool. Did that in Chrome also. It has a 3D 3D printed driver and passenger seats, um, which are like more race car style. So those look more suitable for this car because you know my body and touch up the interior a little bit. And also the steering wheel is also. 3D printed and you know upgrade from this from the stock one because yeah, we really have a stock steering wheel in this my body you know <laughs> sports car basically so but the interior is basically all simple it's all black like the Toyota back back then all Supra's are all black you know the interior wasn't really much special the center console and the whole gauge cluster area of the dashboard is all carbon fiber which actually looks pretty good and then of course I flocked the floor 
give it some carpet and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much what I put in the interior. It's, it's not really special. It's just, you know, black and, you know, it looks good enough. And it looks pretty good from the outside. So, um, the chassis, on the other hand, is body color. They all body color and then one coat of body of clear, of clear. And then, you know, the exhaust, like I mentioned, is chrome and just did some aluminum accents here and black and so the other side is not too special but um, it's actually pretty good for a Tamiya kit because this car does offer or this kit is a full you know engine kit it does have a full engine which I will try to open the hood right here in camera there we go there we go I'll grab a hood out there so this kit, like I mentioned, it does have a full engine, and the engine is incredible. It is the 2JZ engine, you know, one of the most popular engines out there for GDM cars back then. I mean, like the uh, Nissan R34 GTR had a similar engine, so it's just so cool. So the engine, the block of the engine is um, black, and I 2K cleared it because it is supposed to be gloss black. So that's what I did, and then the valve cover, and then the exhaust and stuff is chrome then did some wiring here and there and then I did 3d print a single turbo setup and filter because on this this car the Toyota Supra is uh, known for twin turbo from factory which is which produces 200 plus horsepower from factory and then from with the single turbo upgrade it can get up to 300 plus horsepower it depends on what kind of turbo you put into it so but that's pretty pretty massive horsepower for you know a 2JZ you know basically a straight six engine. So, but even even 200 horsepower for a 1980s you know early 2000s car, that's pretty quite a bit, and especially for this engine. Some people say, man, 200 horsepower is not much, but it actually is. It's actually more horsepower than most cars these days still. Because a lot of cars like sedans and stuff, like I don't know, like Honda Civics, you know, like. Most just normal generic cars are not even 200 horsepower these days. So for this thing being 200 horsepower back in you know back then, that's actually quite a bit, and especially for being you know a straight six engine. So I cannot complain about that. That's actually pretty insane. So, but very cool. Um, I'm actually glad how I did the um, 3D printed the uh, turbo. I mean, it does look a lot better than the twin turbo uh, from this kit does offer because it's not not really that detailed and I don't know the, tw the single turbo just looks way cooler and in my opinion looks it, it suits the engine a bit more and it looks really cool especially suits it with the my body so but that's pretty much about it you know this this wiring battery wires you know um some some simple wires here and there but our nets it looks fantastic and I'm actually pretty glad how the engine bay turned out but that's pretty much about it. In this case, wondering does it does the wheels steer still? The wheels do steer, so they do steer still, and with those and with those aftermarket wheels, so that's pretty neat. But as our net, that is pretty much about it for the build. Again, a fantastic build. I think it's a good build to start off the year 2022, and because I would like to start off strong with the year because I don't know. <laughs> Why not? So it looks fantastic. I love the color. Love the kit. The kit, obviously it's my kit. You can't go playing with this my kit. So you get your hands on this kit, which you, know, you sure can. It's all over the place. Um, definitely get it. Build it. It's, it's definitely a cool car and you can't go playing with the Toyota Supra. But other than that guys, that's pretty much about it. But until my next video, hope you enjoyed. I'll put a slideshow at the end of a photo booth course but that'll be it for this build and i'll catch you guys on my next build starting pretty soon but until then i'll catch you guys next time bye for now